A long time ago, I made a video on how to modify the NVIDIA INF driver file. Well, there's a program called NV Clean Install that I've discovered, and this program makes it a lot easier to modify the INF file. So let me show you how to do that today. Let's get started. All right, next we need to know which GPU we have. So hopefully you know what it is, but I'm gonna check mine using the NVIDIA control panel here. So as you can see, I have the GTX 880Ms and SLI, but there is another way to check in device manager. All right, so the other way to know how to check your PC is to right click this PC and go to device manager. And then over here in the corner, you'll see if you go to display adapters, you can click the GPU it might say generic VGA uh, adapter. Then you're gonna click details and you're gonna click hardware ID. So basically like this hardware ID, you can copy this into Google. So if we go here and copy this into Google, um, you'll be able to see, so um, mine's a 2080, so this is a 2080, but you can click like different websites to see what your device ID is. But once you know what GPU you have, we're going to Google, so we're basing this off the 880M, and then we click the G Tech Power Up uh, GPU here. As you can see, we have 1536 cores and a GK104 GPU. So if you go down here, you see it says GK104. We're going to click this, and now we're basically going to go down here and look for a GPU that has the same core. So there's a 1536 here, so we can use the 680 if we wanted to. But me personally, I'm going to use the slightly newer 770, which also has 1536. So 770 is the GPU we're going to base my drivers on because my laptop is also Kepler and it's no longer supported. So because it's no longer supported, I'm going to use the desktop drivers, which are still supported. So we're going to go to 700 series. I'm going to download the 770 and I have Windows 10 and then we're going to click search. And this is the latest driver. As you can see, it was still updated on 6.26. Now, let me show you real quick, just to give you a comparison here. Let's just say I go to the 800M notebook series, right? And I click search. As you can see, the last driver they let me download is from 2019, which is so much older. Whereas here, we can literally get a driver that was released a couple of months ago. So that's one thing to keep in mind is if you have a laptop, you might want to see which equivalent desktop GPU you have because desktop GPUs are supported longer. I'm gonna click download, and then we're just gonna download this real quick. All right, next we're gonna need NV clean install. And it's also on tech power up. So you're gonna download the latest version right here. So I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna download this. I'm just gonna launch NV clean install. All right, so here we have NV Clean Install. Now, don't worry about my thing from the 2080. I'm using a different laptop right now just to make this video. But basically, this is the driver we downloaded. So what you're gonna do is use driver fall on disk, click browse, and then under the downloads, we're gonna go ahead and select the thing here. So I'm gonna click next. Here you can choose a bunch of different things. If you want GeForce experience, you, you should check these. I don't care about GeForce experience. I just need physics and HDMI audio. Now, if you are using a laptop that does Optimus, you need to check this. My other laptop does not do Optimus, so we don't care about this. So click next. It's gonna unpack the installer. All right, so next, I'm gonna disable tele uh, telemetry and uh, advertising. And then what you need to do is click add hardware support. And then here, it asks you for the ID. The ID is going to be the one that's always here. So I'm just going to do this to show y'all. And then for template, I mentioned that I'm going to use the GTX 770. So just look for the GTX 770 and here they are. And to be completely honest, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose this one just because I know this is a Dell uh, ID, but you can literally use any of these and it should be fine. And then here you're going to want to change this. So we're going to write GeForce. GTX 880M. Then here you're gonna to want to click use method compatible with the easy anti-cheat just because you know it's easier. And then you can do this if you want. I don't really care about that, so I'm just gonna look next. And then now I'm gonna do build package and I'm gonna save this package and then click save. And now it's gonna build the package here. And then once the package is 
made, we'll boot into safe mode and we'll install the driver. All right, next you're gonna click the start and go to settings. And then we're gonna go into update and recovery. Click recovery and then click advanced startup. And then here we'll do troubleshoot, advanced options and startup settings. And then here we're gonna press seven to disable driver signature enforcement. All right, so now that we're in safe mode, we're gonna go to the installer that we just made and we're gonna run it. So it's gonna ask, do you want to install? I'm gonna click yes, let it extract. And then you'll notice in the top left corner, it now says NV clean install is monitoring the active NVIDIA installation. So this is how you know that you basically are using the custom installer. So here, just go ahead and install drivers how you normally would. As you can see, I have older drivers, that's fine. It'll overwrite them. But you will get this message eventually that says um, that it can't verify the publisher. This is because I didn't check that one box to automatically accept it. Just click install this software anyways, and it will finish installing. So once it's done installing, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and click NVIDIA control panel to confirm that the newest drivers have been installed. So let me just maximize this and then we'll check the driver version right here. And as you can see, I have my GTX 880s and SLI still, and I have the latest driver installed now. Hopefully that helped. Uh, if you do want to see how to do it the complicated way, I will put a the video at the end, the little thumbnail here somewhere. Be sure to click that if you want to do it the complicated way. But yeah, hopefully this helps and it makes modifying the INF driver so much easier. So, as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.